bring in Mark Merovitz from the U.S. He specializes in Turkish foreign policy. He's also a professor at State University of New York. Mark, thank you so much for your time. Now, how do you think the Greek Cypriot side is going to react to the two-state solution proposal from Arsene Tatar? Well, look, um, uh, for 50 years, uh, you know, the, the, there's been an attempt to work this out. Uh, many proposals have been put forth, including by zonal federations, you name it. They haven't been successful. And President Tatar uh, believes that he has a new vision. He's trying to try something new. And the format of the 5 plus 1 under the auspices and formally uh, with the Secretary General is a good format. Um, and, and I think he should get credit for trying to do that. Uh, it, it will not be simple. Uh, the, these negotiations have been going on for years and years. Um, and I think uh, we should give an opportunity to try something different and new to work this out. Um, I think that it would be the benefit for all of the people living on the island to, be, to actually work together, particularly on the issue of the resources in the Mediterranean, and not fight about it, because nobody wins, as, as everybody loses. And there's a win-win possibility here where the parties can get together finally and work this out. Um, and so I think I'm going to be cautiously optimistic. As far as the fact that the Greek Cypriots are unhappy about it, look, when there were referenda in the past, the Greek Cypriots rejected it, the Turkish Cypriots accepted it. So I think you keep on pushing the rock up the hill and hopefully you're going to get something and it's going to work out. And I think let's keep trying to have that optimistic attitude uh, to try to work this out. I think it's for the benefit of all of the people of the island to be able to work this out. And, I think, and I'm hopeful that they will be able to do so. Okay, so you say you're cautiously optimistic about these talks. They are set to take place over the next uh, three days. Uh, but when we look at the previous talks, the last ones were held in 2017. Uh, those also uh, mm. failed. What are the main sticking points that we're looking at here between these two sides? I want to be very realistic about it. What you have is really two separate societies, two separate groups developing themselves. That's why the two-state solution is really a very, you know, originally, if you remember the history, uh, the Greeks wanted Enosis, which was uni unification with the mother country of Greece, and the Turks put, for, put forth Taksim, which was the partition. And that's where we, after all these years, we're back at the same thing. The problem is that two separate societies, the Turkish Republic, the Greek Republic of Cyprus, they, they are existing in separate universes and separate, and it's very unfortunate because they inhabit the same island. And in a more, uh, in a more um, utopian idea, and to be very, very utopian, is to say they should all get together. But realistically, they haven't. And it really is a pity. And a lot of it has to do with the impact of the international players here, to be very candid about it, on the Cypriots living on the island. If left alone, perhaps they would have developed in a different way. But at the present time, they're really in a in really separately developing. So maybe the way to do it is to try to separate uh, rather than trying to create a, a federation or some sort of a structure where they need to work together. They simply haven't been able to do so. That's why I think that the resources issue, the, the valuable resources in the Mediterranean could be a way to get the people of Cyprus to work together to be able to benefit from those resources. If they keep bickering and fighting and, and, and disagreeing, they're never going to figure this out because everybody's been drawing lines and zones. And how do you end up with a win-win? And so all I'm saying is that they should try for a new idea. And that's why I think President Tatar really brings something new to the table. He's saying, look, I have a new idea. I'm going to try to pursue it. I'm going to do my best to do it. If I can't, well, then I'm going to try something else. So I think that uh, with the Secretary General's auspices here, hopefully the parties can sit down in a serious fashion, this 5 plus 1 format, and work this out for the benefit of the, uh, the people of the island. And it's the people of the island that have to live together and they should live together but they can be politically separated but they're on this island in the Mediterranean and they should try to live together in peace and uh, and I think that should be the um, the objective and as far as embargoes 
and boycotts of Turkish Cyprus, I think that really needs to end because it is an anachronism and inappropriate in the modern world today to to have boycotts and embargoes of the people of the of the of the north the, the Turkish part of the mm -hmm. island. That's just just inappropriate. So they should work on this and try to solve it, and they should keep trying, and they should definitely not give up. And I think that was President Tatar's intention is to really to try something and say, I'm going to try for this. And I and, I, and we should give him credit for it. And I hope they succeed. Yeah, but that, that's something we're all hoping for, Mark Mervitz. Really appreciate your take on this live to us there from New York.